It has been a long, emotional week for all of us. Tonight, we leave with a tribute honoring Louisville, remembering the lives we lost this week and honoring those they leave behind. Uh, Louisville Metro Safe received a report of shots fired and a possible active shooter. I'm absolutely heartbroken. With the air goes to Weston Boy. Oh my God, there's an active shooter there. This was an evil act of targeted violence. I, I never thought it would happen directly across the street from my office. And I could see him still shooting. I didn't see his face. And then I took off running out the front door. He's not violent. He's never done anything. Friendly. I was never scared or or afraid. Five more families have lost a loved one. Tommy Elliott. A very close friend that didn't make it today. Josh Barrett. It's a tragic loss for everybody. Jim Tuck. He was always just the smartest guy in the room. Deanna Eckert. She never ever had anything bad to say about anybody. And Juliana Farmer. These are irreplaceable, amazing individuals. We're all suffering together. It's tragic. It's amazing how much damage can be done in nine minutes. Our LMPD officers went into that building knowing that they were risking their lives to save other lives. But I've got two friends and more that survived because LMPD got there in about three minutes. Officer Wilkes still remains in critical condition. Yo, it was a life or death situation, Nick would be right there, you know, in forefront of it. Uh, we let them know how proud we are that we wear the same badge and uniform. It is time for all of us to do more. Why we can't find a solution to this cancer of mass shootings? Because doing nothing, which is what we've been doing, is not working. But we got to do something. Too many people have had this experience. There's no end in sight, and something has to change. Something has to change. We have to look at red flag laws. Living in fear is not a life that our children and their children deserve. What, what is the data telling us about the things that are happening in Kentucky? Give Louisville the autonomy to deal with our unique gun violence epidemic. Well, we currently have no ability to legislate that, and I think that's the mayor's point. We need help. 